good morning. As you can tell, I sound a little bit different, and that's because I am recovering from a cold. So I'm still kind of sick, but I feel a lot better. I have been knitting a bit, and if you remember me struggling a lot with knitting this term, well, it was because my machine sucked, so I'm using another... My classmates are very kind to lend me their machines, so I'm just using other people's machines, and it's going way better. Wow, you can already see that my skin tone has gotten tanner than this. It fluctuates so crazy. I'm walking back now and I'm so tired. Good morning. I feel better today, but my voice is still not recovered. So after this, I'm not gonna talk all day. I was really tired out from yesterday, so I didn't talk about it at all, but the show went well. I was only there for one. My sister helped out the whole day. My friend Kat was there, so she put in a little clip of us walking. <laughs> Amazing. I was after her and I couldn't really even recognize myself, but I was so Glad to be a part of this experience because I've never modeled for anything And even though I was sick and it was really tiring overall, it was still fun, especially how my sister was there so um, Congratulations to our friend Andre for being done with her senior collection. All right, that's all that's all the talking I'm gonna do for today Let's go. Bye Prairie. Bye <laughs> Bye. Monday. I think my voice has improved a little bit. I barely spoke yesterday, but it definitely has a sort of rasp. So I'll let it rest after this, but I am headed to studio. I put some lip balm on, but this is what I'm wearing. Colourpop sent me this over the weekend. Thank you so much. They haven't released ultra matte lips in a long time, so this is a series of new colours. And I have on Told You So. Everyone has left. 
and I'm in the studio. This is my 3D knit sculpture. I built this armature underneath and I'm gonna cover it up and stretch my knit pieces over. This is like a small scale model. I totally forgot to vlog the dinner with my sister. It was really good, we talked. And I'm right back here again. I am about to work on this while watching Gossip Girl. And by the way, I'm on season four already and it's not getting any better. Like no offense, I thought it would be better than this. So I'm just gonna listen to it while I work. I'm out of bagels and I'm out of creamer, so I'm gonna walk over to campus. Thank you so much to Studio for sending me this. Coincidentally, two weeks ago, somebody stole the Bluetooth beats that I've had for years at the cafeteria. I was very devastated because those were a gift. I do use, you know, like regular cord headphones too, but the reason why I can't sometimes when I knit or do other manual homework assignments is because like it will get in the way, it will tangle. Sports game under Euro is the one for me. Beautiful. <laughs> dinner with my sister just so hungry and really really looking forward to the food i consumed like three plates without vlogging at all and now i'm home and prairie's food finally came in the last shipment they told me that it was delivered when it wasn't so for the rest of the night my main task is to do research and essay work and you know as as much as studio work is exhausting i still really prefer that over essays like i'm not a huge fan but also this is the earliest i have been home in a while i haven't been home when it was bright outside this time i am pretty sure Moments passing away I've never seen before This has been my go-to for the longest time thing about last night kind of didn't do any work what why, why, why are you coming here she thinks it's snacks um since i don't have to leave for class until after lunch i might have some instant noodles i treat myself to that once a month i got her a new toy and it makes me sad because she doesn't play with it instead she plays with that a lot all the snot coming out <sighs> I'm gonna go get the mail later today. It's very tragic. I had to order my own yarn, but it was a lot of money. Now I have to run out, go to class, and you know, I really miss going to the gym. It's been, it's been eight days. What's the temperature outside? 
It's currently 55 degrees. <laughs> what the heck? You know when you don't feel like doing anything and like you don't feel productive and then you suddenly feel bad? I'm the last one here, getting ready to go home. It is almost one in the morning. I'm all ready to go this morning. It's around like almost nine. Um, an hour ago, the crazy leaf blowers right outside woke me up. It was a good time to wake up anyways because I didn't set an alarm. And I'm gonna head out to eat breakfast at the school cafe and then get to work. <laughs> write it for me. Safe to say yesterday I kind of wasted the day spending it writing the paper. I turned it in really late. But you know, moving past it, no point of lingering and just feeling guilty about it. Today, I'm gonna get a lot of good work done and I will be proud of that. Um, right now I need to run to the grocery store to get my bagels. I'm going to jog and then bike back. been going non-stop and now it's dinner time so I'm gonna meet up with Kira 
and eat at the cafeteria. Strike a pose. officially the longest I've ever stayed up and it's not for good reason I was just working so slowly but I got everything I need to done so I'm proud of myself I'm gonna go home and get cleaned up and rest I came home to discover that my sister isn't here so I guess she also have been super busy I'll catch up with her late Let's see if we can get three hours even. I'm not necessarily nervous. I just am a very anxious person. I'm not sure if I come across as just a very like calm and relaxed person all the time. A lot, a lot of it is all in here. But by the time this comes out, if you're not done with finals, um, deep breathing is crucial um, I was telling this to almost everyone I knew I learned this from that meditation app breathe in for four counts breathe out for six as long as your your exhalation is 50% times um, the lo what? <laughs> 50% times 50% longer than your inhale that scientifically relaxes you so really try that <laughs> dinner time already and I have been very tired this afternoon so it's been a bit of a mishmash what happened and unfortunately I didn't get pictures or video of the setup room because we really worked until the last minute and then right after I was done um, my my friend Minji was after me and they came in and started taking my things down and I like didn't even think to take photos I was just like okay that's a little bit disappointing but um, I think I'll just photograph my work in the future on my own time the gist of it was I think it went pretty well but the one thing that really bothered me out of this whole thing is that my knitted project wasn't received well and it was kind of a shocker to me because uh, I think just because I worked so hard on it and you saw like all the hours I put into it and it's like it was really technically challenging and physically demanding and I don't I honestly don't think there was even like one compliment or like um, like you know not that I want people to just compliment it but like um, there was really no interest shown because I thought they would ask me like um, I guess like oh why why did you do this or like how did you build it um just like things like that but it, most most of the time um like the the people who led the discussions they were just very fixated by the fact that it looked like um 
it just like looked too much like sweaters and I didn't achieve what I was going for because I wanted to go for like an abstracted landscape sculpture but maybe they just couldn't get past the fact that it looked like the, the, the knitted fabrics just looked too much too much like clothing or something like I didn't knit well enough I could have done maybe like more minute finer things if I worked on a smaller scale but my my professor told me that it would be more immersive to make it big but then like it kind of worked at a disadvantage because I made everything so big that it's almost like human scale it can almost be um, like pieces that fit your arm like it, it looks like a sleeve whereas like my original plan was to make a much smaller composition with very fine detail um, but either way I'm really glad that I made it big in the end because I enjoyed it and it was really challenging and I was really proud of myself I was really disappointed because I cared the most um, in the end about this knitting like I put so much energy like physical labor and so much energy so um that was super bittersweet so for the rest of the afternoon i went to eat at the cafeteria i hung out with my classmate and i was so tired like very emotional from being tired so i didn't want to talk but i just i just went to bed for like two hours and i'm gonna go get pho with with my girlfriends um just to end end our semester so um, I will catch up with you later. I went over to Minji's for her birthday and I brought Prairie, but I didn't bring the stroller back with me, so she's like walking over here. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. She brought Suri along, so they're gonna have a play date <laughs> while we're out. They are. Hi, Suri. Hi, Mish. It's your friend. <laughs> that you hate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Bad choice. Bad choice. <laughs> I wish I vlogged him when he was little. I know. So I could have had the documentation. Um. He growls when I hold him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so peaceful. That's the kind of experience. out the finals vlog now thank you so much for spending time with me summer it has officially started i'm so excited you can see i'm kind of bloated from dinner <laughs> all right i will speak to you very soon have a wonderful rest of your day um, remember to take care of yourself bye